um, who obviously plays Pat Evans, better known, of course, as Pat Butcher, has been in some remarkable dramas over the years on the square. And it got us thinking today about which soap storylines have most resonated with us. From Sally's current breast cancer scare in Coronation Street mm. to Aaron in Emmerdale's sexuality crisis, it's clear that the soaps are continuing to raise awareness of major issues affecting ordinary people's lives. So, which storyline means most to us? Oh, there's been so many amazing ones. I mean, EastEnders, as I think, you know, with um, all their special Christmas episodes, usually get it right. For me, Lindsay Corson as Carol Jackson, when, do you remember that, with Bianca? when I think they were both going out with the same guy, you know, um, who was it they were going, was it David, uh, David Wicks? Yeah, <gasps> yeah no, Michael no, Dan, no, Dan, no, it was Dan, the Dan, big Bobby Beefcake bloke, they were both going out with him, and their rowing was like, fantastic, they properly screamed at each other, and Lindsay Corson, I think, is one of our best actresses ever. And she's coming back to the square. She is, and I'm so pleased about that, because she's just, everything she does is so truthful, and they made me cry, they made me laugh, and my mum and I row a bit like that on occasion, and I just... Lovely. You, well, you, not, you know, maybe... <laughs> yes, it's like the Jeremy Kyle show in our house sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I, and you never see those arguments on telly. They never tend to sort of um, I know, I think it's it's very important that um, soaps represent life uh, a lot of the time as well. And one of the major things for me, uh, this particular storyline, was uh, Trevor and Mo, when the domestic violence storyline. Mm. And I think it was very important to show that storyline um, because of everybody out there that could relate to it. And then you can ring in, obviously, and, uh, and, and you know, have your own questions. And I just thought that was brilliant. And, and I think all the soaps have done that, and every single one of them treat issues really well mm. um but the one of the one of the soaps i loved you call it so was the dynasty dallas one you oh, know and i yes. wanted to be pam ewing because i wanted to be married to bobby ewing <laughs> <laughs> and then in real life she married a plastic surgeon and i thought yes <laughs> thank you god <laughs> a plastic surgeon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about storylines, but characters, certainly I can identi identify with, um, first of all, Sue Ellen, and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the mad woman that drinks too much. That's uh, that that Angie Watts. <laughs> 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 and drinks My a lot. soup heroines. No, I'm joking. No, but I thought they, I thought they both were very important storylines because... You know, the, the women, they, they both were alcoholics, but they were alcoholics and they were troubled because they were with fairly bad men. Mm. And, yeah. you know, I think that does actually show women. It does show women that, you know, you don't really have to put up with that sort of treatment. And they were really damaged, weren't they, and tragic. Very damaged. Strong at the same time. By yeah. their relationship. So, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I haven't been that damaged, but I do like a drink. Occasionally, yeah. Do you know what, though? I, I have real trouble um, separating fact from fiction when it comes to the soaps because I dedicate myself to EastEnders. I think you're either... A, it's like the Beatles and the, all the Rolling Stones. You have to just pick one and stick with it. Can't do them all. Can't do them all. You've it's too tough no life. Yeah. So for me, it's always been EastEnders. And, and you know... I, Last night I was reading my notes because a new pan was coming on and it says, and Pat is about to move to New Zealand to live with Wix. And I thought, oh, I can't believe it. That's where he is. I, she can't go and live. I mean, I know it would be lovely for the grandchildren and everything to have their... And then, oh, that's where he is. Yeah, he's there. He's in New Zealand. But I do it, I do it with all of them. Yeah. 24 oh, again this, this weekend. I was sat when, there when, stressing when I was about Reg that. Holdsworth and Reg ran off with this young woman. Um, oh, the, <laughs> fans of Coronation Street, because you're supposed to go to Lowestoft, so they all wrote in and said, we're on our way to Lowestoft, we'll <laughs> find him for you. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you got my letter. <laughs> OK, here's your second.